Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Shaw. Well, I hope you've had a wonderful Friday. Uh, the One of the nice things about some of the showers that we've been getting is that it does tend to wash out some of the pollen from the air. So today, tree pollen has been mild, grass pollen low, and weeds haven't shown up yet. And for the next few days, we're planning on uh, seeing some scattered showers and cooler temperatures, not much sunshine. All of that changes about the middle of next week and that's about when I'm expecting our pollen report to change just a bit as well. Well over the day today uh, strong storm activity has been working its way through the deep south. Scattered showers through the heartland. The southwest has been in pretty good shape but you remember that low pressure center that was off the coast of California uh, that has been pitching so much nasty weather in our direction. Well now now it's on board with us. It's uh, centered right over uh, southwestern, uh, southeastern Oregon and southwestern Idaho and it's still doing its thing. It's still bringing a lot of moisture into our area and a lot of cold air mixing in with that. Consequently, we saw cooler temperatures, kind of windy conditions today with a few scattered showers, and that is going to be the recipe that's going to take us through the weekend. Let's see what your weekend is going to look like. Well, that low pressure center is going to give, uh, give us some more uh, scattered showers on Saturday. As we get through the day, uh, shouldn't be terrible, but pockets of that could be fairly heavy. Now, by the time we get to Saturday evening, this is going to uh, start to clear a little bit. Not likely we'll get under clear skies, but partly cloudy through the night, Saturday night. And then on Sunday, we watch a shift in our airflow pattern. Most of that other storm activity is out of here, but there's fresh moisture coming in off the Pacific. We'll look for a rainy afternoon. We'll carry that into the evening only because we have another wave of showers that's coming through and consequently we'll look for another chilly rainy weekend. Tonight we'll see overnight lows scattered through the 30s for most and a uh, couple of spots that may not drop below the 40 degree mark. Look for mostly cloudy skies. Not much rain tonight but that rain is going to settle in for the the weekend we stay chilly. We'll retain this chance of showers as we get into next week. Now, beginning about Wednesday, we'll start to see some clearing and we'll have a nice little warming trend that'll have us in the low to mid 70s by next Friday.